In a make-to-order shop, flexibility is key with software. In the Job Boss Squared system, we are flexible to be able to add on the fly, create as you go, and make it as simple or as detailed as you need it to be. If you're going to do a make-to-order part, you might be just simply starting right with an order, or you can definitely start with a quote. If I begin with a quote, my quote does not have to be detailed. I can simply add things like the customer and what the part is, and create a quote from my customer on the fly very quickly. If I'm doing this with no detail, like labor or materials, I might want to add that at a later time, and that is no problem. I can send this quote right out to my customer, and when I get the quote from the customer, at that point, I can add all the detail that I need to. Often, in make-to-order shops, there are so many quotes going out the door that you just don't have time to add that detail at this stage. Once we get the order, then we can come into the orders section and be able to bring that quote to the order. Of course, all the pricing, the information that I would have had in the quote will come over to the order seamlessly. I can just simply enter the quote number or I can search for anything that I need to to find it very quickly. Once the information has come over to the order, now I can add details if I want to. Sometimes it makes more sense in a make-to-order environment that I need to just add those routings out on the floor, or I need to just go into purchasing, create purchase orders and put those to the job just from purchasing. So again, we're extremely flexible to that. I can add the labor details at this time and just simply go in and do routing steps or I could wait and do that on the fly from the shop floor. The same with material, as I said. When I process this order, the system will look to see if there's any materials. If there aren't, then I don't have to worry about it, or if I want to add materials, I can do so at this time. But if I'd rather do that just from purchasing, again, flexibility is key here for a make-to-order type of company. I'm just gonna simply put this order in and let's get it going out on the shop floor. I can of course print things like a work order or a traveler if I wanted to, so that I have a paper to work off of on the shop floor and for my purchasing. Now at this point, all of the people in the other departments can get started on working on this project. For example, if I'm in purchasing, and I want to go over and create a purchase order, I can do so right against this job. Let's go do that. I'm gonna create a purchase order and I'm going to tell it what order I want it to go to. When I create my new purchase order, I can put in who it's for, I can put in the material that I'm going to need, and at this point, I can tell it the job that I'm going to use it for. This material then will be costed to that job once it comes in. You can add as many materials and costs of those materials to the job anytime. I can send this off to my vendor and get that purchase order out the door right away. Of course, on here, you can see what job number it's for and the cost that will be applied to that job once it comes in. It applies with labor. I could, of course, have put routings onto my job and sent a traveler out to my shop floor. If I didn't do that, I can just simply have my people out on the shop floor log their time to the job very similar to how we just did with the purchase order. For example, out on the shop floor, I might just simply have a data collection terminal and they can come in and start the job very easily. At this point, I'll just put in who I am, the job number that I'm going to be working on, since I don't have any routing steps, I'm just going to add zero.
And now I'm logged into that job. This is how I could easily just add those on the fly from the shop floor. Or if you would prefer, you can easily do manual time cards or use our app to have people log in from the floor in that way. Manual time cards allow you to easily put in time tickets that your employees gave you. And again, it can be easily applied against the job that you had just created. Once the job is finished, you have the ability to easily ship that job. I can come into my shipping area, tell it what I want to ship, and the system will bring forward all of the information about that particular item and create my shipping documents for me. Pack lists, CFCs, shipping labels, everything that you need to ship your items out. I can print my pack list right here out of the system. That pack list can be easily sent via email or printed out for the customer. All the information that you need on your pack list can be there, including things like sign off lines and such. This pack list is ready to be built. You can utilize our QuickBooks integration and that could be happening right away automatically in the background once you create your pack list. Or you can utilize our accounting and be able to easily go into your billing area Turn this pack list directly into an invoice and send it off to your customer. Again, it simply takes just one click to come in, bring that pack list in, and boom, we have an invoice ready to go to that customer. So as you can see, a make-to-order process is very simple in the Job Bus Squared system. All the way from quoting to billing, things are simple and quick and easy to use.